so it's just another beautiful day out sailing ah oh, man i'm sorry if i repeat myself but i just love this it's so amazing in this episode we continue our sail north along the windward islands towards martinique we're gonna make some stop on our way and enjoying paradise but first it's time to say see you later to our friends here the last evening at Paradise Beach. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit sad. My stomach's feeling sad. <laughs> <laughs> the food is so, so good here. Yeah, it is. So it's uh, sunset. It's time for a beer. Let's go. Both Kylie and I feel a bit sad leaving this beautiful place behind, saying see you later to Alison and Sasha and enjoying our last dinner here. My visa expires tomorrow and we are on our way north. With small changes in our schedule I decided to upload previous episode for you guys here and put it on schedule for you to watch while I'm out sailing. Sushi and uploading video with great company was a good and effective combination. <laughs> oh that's a big chunk. the last place you expect to find sushi, right? Mm -hmm. And good sushi. Mm. <laughs> it's almost unbelievable that a hurricane season already is over and that it might be a long time before I will be back here again. After all, the Pacific is calling my name. Early morning and first stop before clearing out of Karaku is coffee and saying see you later to our Swedish friends on Aurora. Hey Leon! Good morning. Good morning, guys. Awesome. Cold, cold, cold. Nice job. Thomas, come. Come. Yeah, come. <laughs> come on, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Yeah, all right. I think the, I think the boys will, uh, will like to do the tour. Okay, okay, yeah, come on. Okay. 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 So he, he will get set up. And then we just have to show them... Yep, I'm going to show my pump. I'm going to show my pump and paper. And when I'm in the book, I'm going to show you. Oh, wow. Whose bed is this one? Um, she's the... always the oldest boat in the fleet. But <laughs> well, she's nice. I like her. Yeah. She's afloat. That's good. Swedish <laughs> Halbarasi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Check us safely through the oceans. <laughs> but you have a Norwegian passport, don't you? Yeah. So and we and we fly the Norwegian flag as well. <laughs> you do? Yeah. But you live in Sweden. Yeah. And you're but, but, Swedish. <laughs> but who knows? Yeah. So maybe maybe cool. move home to Norway some, yeah? sometime. Yeah, you should. It's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Something I'm starting to be a bit tired of is all the small time hustlers around the Caribbean. It's an interesting fact that I have paid different price for anchoring here every time I visit. I have paid from 35 to 55 easy dollars per night. Apparently 20 easy is the correct price. When you clear out of Karaku, you clear out of all the islands belonging to Grenada. It's very convenient for us that you don't need to visit Tyrell Bay, but can do it here in Hillsboro as well. What are we doing? 
We are all checked out of Grenada and Karaku and can leave for Martinique now. As you probably know already, my dinghy is dead and I'm very happy to have Kylie around with her brand new dinghy so we could do this run together. This time she helps me out like I was helping her out last time we were here. So I just start up my engine and are getting ready to leave. Uh, my visa expired today and I already cleared out. So now it's time to go north. So we'll see if we do a stop on our way to Marnik. But it's a little bit bittersweet to leave this beautiful island, Sunny Island. It's such a nice place. Um, also there's uh, a lot of other Swedish and Norwegian boats around here. And say see you later to Aurora. And it's like always a little bit hard to say goodbye to nice people. But uh, I'm sure we will see them again. It's such a beautiful day and we still have some hours left that we are allowed to be here before we need to be outside their territorial waters. So we have decided to make a short stop doing some snorkeling and a lunch before sailing out of here. The big island in front of Kylie's boat belongs to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So as you can see we are at the northwest point of Karaku and not far from the border. So finally I could visit this beach I never earlier have had time to, which is famous for its barbecue food and snorkeling. We're gonna find out if it's as good as the rumors says. What are we up to Thomas? Uh, exploring Ansel Road. Like that. <laughs> it's supposed to be a very good uh, tiny little restaurant here with uh, lobster and barbecue and stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have time for it. <laughs> we are we are already cleared out of the country, so we're just doing one of your snorkeling and a little bit exploring before we leave. Yeah. Look at that beautiful boat! <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> you got two beautiful boats in the background. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> Apparently, the sailors here had spotted a white tip shark in this bay yesterday, so they were not so keen on swimming. However, Kylie and I still jumped in to check it out. We could not see any shark, and the biggest fish I saw was only this needlefish. We didn't try the lunch here as we did not have time for it. However, it sounds great and definitely was smelling good as well. When it comes to snorkeling, I still hold my money on Sandy Island, but a beach here is just as beautiful. But now it's time to leave Karaku and Granada waters. In less than one hour we should be outside its borders. It's really interesting to see the difference in our two boats under the exact same conditions. In lighter winds Kylie make me look like I dropped my anchor, like here when she is ahead of me. In 16 to 17 knots wind we sail equally fast, but from 18 knots Beefy stretch out her legs and starts running. Yeah, so I just uh, took a little shortcut, not uh, straight through to Baggy Case, but uh, slightly on the side of it uh, to avoid the most shallow waters. But uh, still it was uh, pretty shallow, down to 8 meters. But the water is so crisp clear, you can actually see everything on the bottom. So it's kind of uh, a little bit uh, uncomfortable uh, going 9 knots through um, waters that's so 
crisp clear turquoise and you can see everything on the seafloor but it's spectacular what an epic day out sailing I'm so lucky and I'm so happy as the wind is dropping again Kylie is catching up with me and this is pretty much as expected this is how it looks like when the wind variates from 14 to 20 knots Wind is again dropping to 40 knots and Wonderful is steaming full throttle passing me, but not for long. A little bit more breeze and I pass her just as fast as she passed me in lower winds. But of course wind comes down again. I guess you get the picture. On my radar calculation I can see I'm catching up again, but I will need more wind. It's getting a bit better, but last two hours have been way too little wind for be free. So this is actually a little bit funny, I'm struggling like shit to catch up with Kylie. <laughs> She's over there, somewhere. So when the wind drops down to 16, 17 knots, I really struggle to catch up with her. She just goes so smooth. So I have to ask her, either she's cheating running the engine or she's a badass sailor. But she's a Kiwi, lots of good sailors from Kiwi. Um, anyway, it's like um, the thing is like 15 to 16 knots wind is really not much for me. It's uh, normally I do around six, seven knots. Um, so I, I prefer to have from 18, 20 and up. Actually, 20 to 25 is the sweet spot for this boat. Up to 30, it's it's totally okay. So if it was 20, 25 knots, I would easily do like 12, uh, so yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, not so far, so I'm not running the engine. I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful day out sailing. This is so 
bit epic, look. <laughs> Thomas is right there. Wait, how close can you get before they kiss? Amazing sale yeah. today. Yeah. Today is one of those days that you just you know, it just yeah. makes all the boat work like worth it and yeah. Yeah. I was actually recording uh, earlier today that uh, there is like wow, look at that boat, she's just flying. Um I really seriously struggle to keep up with you. So I was like saying, Well, Kiwis are famous for being good sailors, but must be something that evolved as well. <laughs> well, I just had I a bottom like, clean. And then I was like, hmm, maybe she's running the engine because I cannot keep up with you. No. <laughs> she did not run the engine. No. Um, I I ran it to start with when we left Ancide La Roche. Yeah. Um, I was running it a little bit as I put the sails out mm. and went, and then I turned it off like far before we went through. Mm. Yeah. So no, I wasn't running the engine at all. No. I did cheat a little bit. Really? So I, you ran the engine? I ran the engine. <laughs> well. To keep that, up? Yeah. And that was when uh, the wind drops down to 12 knots. Right. That's yeah. not enough for me. Right. It's like, uh, but it's, it, it's been very interesting to sail so close uh, because it's so visual, the different speeds of the boat. Yeah. And in different uh, wind uh, range? And waves and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if I have too many waves, my boat just starts ducking uh. like a dog. <laughs> it's, it's especially with... Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Stay safe. Take care. Cheers. Yeah.